It's the magic of math here, and today we're talking facts. Facts about reflections and translations. Here's our question today. This question has two parts. We have pentagon L and triangle T that are graphed on this coordinate plane. Part A, pentagon L will be reflected over the y-axis. We're asked which of the following must be true about the image of pentagon L and you're given four answer choices to identify which must be true. I'm going to have you pause the video now, make your answer selection, and come back and hit play when you're done. Welcome back. So we have pentagon L that's going to be reflected over the y-axis, and we're going to identify what must be true of these four statements. So here's pentagon L on our coordinate plane, and we're going to reflect it over the y-axis. So our y-axis is going to be our line of reflection and we're reflecting this over to create an image. When we do that, every vertice is going to be the same distance from the line of reflection, the line, the y-axis, as it is on the left side to the right side. So here's this top vertice. It's one, two, three away from the line of reflection, then one, two, three. So here's the top of my pentagon. And then this vertice is one away, and here it's one away. We can see two away and two away, and we can see that it's the same size and shape, and all reflections must be the same size and shape. So this is our image, L prime, of the reflected pentagon. Let's go check our answer choices now. Choice A says it intersects both the X and Y axis. Well, we can see clearly that this image is not intersecting either. It's in the first quadrant all by itself. It doesn't touch or intersect the y-axis or the x-axis. So this is not true. Choice B, its area is larger than the area of pentagon L. Well, we know this is not true because in order for it to be a reflection, it needs to be the same size and shape. So it is clearly not B. C, each of the coordinates of its vertices is negative. Well, since this image lies in the first quadrant, we know that every vertice is positive. Positive 2, 1, positive 4, 1, positive 5, 4, 3, 5, and 1, 4. So we know that none of the coordinates of the vertices are negative. Let's hope it's choice D. Its perimeter is equal to the perimeter of pentagon L. That is going to be true. Seeing as it's a reflection, it needs to be the same size and shape, meaning they're going to have the same area and the same perimeter. All sides are congruent. All right, let's move on to part B. This question still has two parts. We still have pentagon L and pentagon uh, triangle T on the coordinate plane, and here's your part B. Triangle T will be translated five units up and three units to the left. Which of the following must be true about the image of triangle T? and you're given four additional statements to determine which is true. So I'm going to have you pause the video now, determine which choice is true, and come back and hit play. Welcome back. So now in part B, we have triangle T that's being translated five units up, three units to the left, and which of the statements must be true. So now we're going to talk about triangle T in our coordinate plane. And the first thing we're going to do is translate this up five units. So every vertice is going to go five up from where it is right now. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, and draw a new triangle. And you can see that even this vertice, one, two, three, four, five, and this vertice, one, two, three, four, five. So that's the first translation. Then it says it goes three units to the left. So we're going to take every vertice and move it three units to the left. So one, two, three, and that's the vertice up here for our image T prime. From here, one, two, three, and there's our right angle. And then we're gonna go from this vertice right here, one, two, three. So you can see that a translation is of the image is still the same size and shape as it should be. Let's go check our answer choices to determine which must be true. Choice A, it intersects the X axis. Well, the x-axis is here, and the image does not intersect that. It intersects the y-axis, but not the x. So this is not a true statement. Choice B, it is a reflection of triangle T. It is not. It has not been flipped over a line of reflection. It has been translated or slid up 
and left. So it's not B. C. Its area is equal to the area of triangle T. Well, we can see that it's clearly the same size and shape. So we're going to say it is answer C, but we're also going to check answer D just to make sure. Each of the coordinates of its vertices is positive. Well, we know that's not true because it doesn't completely lie in the first quadrant. We have this vertice right here, which is negative 2, positive 1. So that has a negative coordinate. So answer choice D is not true. So our answer choice is C. And there you have it. That is facts on reflections and translations. I thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you have a great day and come back soon.